Okay, let me give you five steps to clean up your data visualization so that you can actually reduce noise or declutter these visuals. Okay, I will be using Google Sheets uh, because uh, the course curriculum uses Google Sheets quite a bit. But let's uh, let's go through this example with bar graphs. So step number one is let's make it flat. Most of you use 3D charts. I'm not a big fan of 3D charts. It adds noise. And when I talk about noise, uh, you see that additional line you see at the bottom of this bar graph, this specific bar chart? That's what I'm referring to, OK? So uh, let's go through what happens when you make it flat. When you make it flat, that additional shadow element does not show up. And it's actually, actually much cleaner. So if I refer back to the previous chart, quickly switching back, you will see that difference, right? That additional line and at the bottom here, right? The shadow and here you don't have that shadow anymore. So that's step number one. Step number two is to remove the border. Most of you use borders, not a big fan again. So let's not use a border. So I've just removed the border, which is that. And if I go back to the previous chart, you'll see the border. And now you don't see the border, right? So we have removed the border. Pretty straightforward. You don't need borders in your presentation. Take it away. It's not giving any data, uh, you know, it's not giving you any additional information. So just take it out, OK? Now, I am not a big fan of these grid lines. It's very faint. So I'm kind of OK uh, with the uh, grid lines. Uh, I've further lightened it. So you'll see these grid lines. These are the grid lines lines which are you know going vertically on these graphs pretty pretty light i've already made it light but if i compare back compare it with the previous chart you'll see how dark it was before this is pretty dark and now I've lightened it my preference is to take it away as much as you can uh, because there are so many bar graphs in this chart it's uh, it's going to be hard to trace your eyes uh, against each of the chart and hence I've left it but I'll give it one more shot la later in this presentation number four is to remove in this case I could easily remove the axis label so the axis label is the label on the x-axis I had student there I'll switch back students and I've removed it in this thing because I also relabeled this to be much more clearer so students versus sleeping hours right so students versus sleeping hours, I, have, uh, it's, uh, I look here, I read English from left to right. So I know these are students and I know these are sleeping hours. Now, some people might argue that it's not a good idea to remove the labels. I would disagree because you have to think like a designer when you design these charts, right? What's the minimum information you can provide in these visuals such that it provides the right amount of uh, information, okay? right amount of insights back to back to the audience so pretty pretty straightforward like i mentioned students on this side uh, students on the x-axis and sorry students on the y-axis and ours on the x-axis okay uh so i've taken that out i've taken that label out i left this label here because you know uh once you look at a chart you might think what these numbers stand for but uh, it's much easier to label it here instead of asking your audience to go back and read the chart title, which might not be might, might not be clear enough. Okay, so I've left the left the x x axis label, and I've removed this label here. Okay, so the next and last thing I've attempted is to give it uh, inline labels. Okay, so I've removed the grid lines finally. And I've put these uh, put these labels right here. So hours on this side, right on the uh, x-axis, and I've put the hours. And now I don't have to worry about you know if I look at Charlotte, for example, I know she's at nine hours without looking across, right? So not always applicable. Again, uh, if you have too many data points and your bar graphs are thin, you won't be able to do this. But you have you know a limited number of bar graphs or a limited number of data points, you can easily do this. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you.